So the formula for future value of a linear gradient is fv is equal to a over i times all this stuff. We have 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1. Uh, this is all over i. That's an i. And then we have minus n. Okay, so what this basically means is the linear gradient is you're going to you're going to deposit um, a, a value of a, say it's like $100 or something at the end of year one, and then at the end of year two, you're gonna deposit two a. And then at the end of year three, you're gonna deposit three a. So if it was $100 at the end of the first year, then you deposit $200, then you deposit $300. Um, I, this is a really strange way to be investing, but uh, there's a formula for it, so that's why we're doing it. Um, I don't know anyone that invests like this, but regardless, uh, let's do an example. So let's say that we have, um, let's say, yeah, let's say that we're going to use A is going to be equal to $100. That looks like $0. Okay, so we're using A, so $100, then we're investing $200, then $300. Uh, let's say that we're going to do this for 10 years. N is equal to 10. And let's say that we're getting an interest rate of... 3%. So we can say 3%, but in our formula we will express this as 0 0.03. All right. Uh, so if we just go and plug all of this into our formula here, uh, we get FV is equal to 100 over 0 0.03 times all this stuff. We get 1.03 to the power of 10 minus 1, right, I just added these together, 1 plus 0 0.03, uh, divided by 0 0.03, over 0 0.03, and then we have to minus our n, so we minus 10, close that bracket. Now if you just go ahead and solve this in your calculator, uh, we will get our future value of this linear gradient uh, is going to equal 4,879 dollars and 60 cents. Again, not sure why you do this, but maybe if it's on your test or something, at least now you'll know how to solve this problem.